classic. Uh, inspiration, love Mad Lib, and it's a dope record cover, and it's actually a shade of blue. Yo, rock and rose colored shades <laughs> yeah, uh, I feel like you know the artwork could have been a little bit more developed, but this is a blast from the past. A uh, record we did with my old band called Up Complex. This is one of my uh, earliest childhood memory records of my father's and was uh, inspiration kind of in a way for when I did the cover for In The Moment and had my, my image on the front and that was one of the reasons I really wanted to do that. This is uh, also uses the sample from uh, Pee Wee Marquette. Classic, I, you know, that, this, this, that track itself, Cantaloupe Island, um, is one I remember uh, as a kid, because like we was one of the first jazz tunes I remember playing, you know, in, like a, in a jazz ensemble. And uh, so like this remix kind of was like, always like, whoa, cool, I know that. Oh, Marion. Um, so dope. I don't know the, this record, but um, I love the artwork. You know, Marion was an artist and a painter himself, which was, I don't know if this is something he painted, but I just, um, it's really, it's really dope. And I love like the kind of, it looks like a, he's been kind of collaged on there with like a really nice foot photograph. That's, that's, that's special. Back in the days when I was a teenager, before you know, I had one of my favorite hip hop records of all time. Artwork is dope, you know. Uh, I love that it, I don't know again where, who did it, if it's hand painted or what, but um, it's really cool and just like it conjures a, a feeling. It's like a, something I feel like I can look at and I can catch new things that I didn't see before. This record, you know, when I was um, in high school at some point, my father gave me the complete Jack Johnson sessions and I, you know, listened to it all the time. And Miles is just, it doesn't get more iconic than that in this music or any music in my opinion. And, you know, the use of his image in, in like, in action is, uh, it's exhilarating just to see. Oh, well, that's my mom. So that, you know, that that's like really cool. And, and you know, it just kind of even just drives home the series of album covers you're presenting. Um, very thoughtful. This record means a lot to me. And, you know, even looking at it now, it's like it's funny. You have records that you've looked at so much, but you haven't really seen them. And, uh, you know, I kind of feel like I'm looking at it for the first time. And uh, there's a lot going on in there, and it's just, it's cool. I mean, I have to get back to the actual the artwork of this, but the music is, uh, you know, been an inspiration to me. At, um, just from it being different than the music I grew up with. I mean, I grew up with this music in my home from my mother, but it wasn't what was available to me outside of that. And so it's always had a special place and something I felt like I had an opportunity to have access to. This is one of my favorite records of all time. Such a big Youssef Latif fan, um, you know, and I'm grateful I've got to play with him when I was in college. I played a tune with him. Plum Blossom is my favorite track on this tune where he plays like an ancient uh, ceramic flute of some sort. I don't even know what it is, but he, it's a five note little instrument and he really makes a whole, so much music out of it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful record, beautiful, beautiful tune. We're going for something that felt like it really connected with the classic Blue Note uh, thing and, and paying homage to Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers. And I can't wait to actually have a copy in my own hands. 